one more time. Ho! What is going on, everyone? My name is Jacob Forster, and we are back playing some more Control. If you're confused as to why I'm in this particular spot as we left off with the last gameplay, uh, I just loaded the game up, and it had some crazy broken things with it. I just updated my uh, NVIDIA drivers, and I think it broke the DirectX 12 version of the game. So now we're doing uh, version 11, which is less nice looking overall, but hopefully it should still look very smooth. But I'll show a brief <laughs> clip of what was happening before. What? in the world is going on with the game. I think it's broken. <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. Um, hello? <laughs> oh, something is not right. Something is not right. It was really bad. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and pull up the next mission, which is my brother's keeper. Um, I am super excited to find my brother, Dylan. So Jesse goes to the containment sector to find the Panopticon, where Dylan is held. So yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna skip out on any of the collectibles for now. We're just gonna get straight into this. So let's go ahead and fast travel when you go to the Panopticon, which is in this area. So yeah, it looks like we gotta go to logistics. Sounds like a plan. Um, but yeah, the, the last episode was... I'm trying to remember what happened overall. I think I was like just exploring a little bit more. It's just a lot of exploration. I don't think I did any like main storylines other than... Oh gosh, now I'm like totally forgetting what I, what I actually played in the last episode. I feel like it's been uh, quite a few days since I last picked this game up. But um, yeah, I think, I think it was just mainly some side missions overall. So let's see where the map... So, yeah, we need to go this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, before, when I came over here to the Panopticon, it had these, like, security doors blocking the way. And I could not get through. No way, no how. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Now people are coming? Wait, how do I get through? They're just blasting through here. Hello? Ow, how'd you hit me through the bar? <laughs> okay, die. Seriously, though. Actually, I'm gonna take over your brain. Oh, I'm almost dead. Uh, how do I get in there? Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, it has been cleared. Okay. Sweet. Medical wing. All right. I, I definitely went the wrong way first. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, you're going to get trash canned. So are you. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, that was quick. <laughs> I got too injured by those... <laughs> By those other stupid people. Dang it! <laughs> All right, well let's uh, let's go and do this again. <laughs> My bad. Man, I am all over the place with this episode already. <laughs> I can't remember what I did last episode. I'm dying within the first five minutes. It's a train wreck, but it's a beautiful train wreck so far that we've seen. Okay, <laughs> let's do this for real. Oh, that's right, we. We did all the fungus stuff last episode, which I think actually helps in getting rid of this over here. So yeah, I need to return to that particular section. Uh, ooh, give me that wheelchair, because you ain't going to be standing up much longer. <laughs> oh, you want to get wheelchaired again? Oh you're, oh, you're getting taken over. Yeah, so I need to go back to the uh, fungus lady. Oh, hi. So that we can get the overall, whatever it was called. Oh, you're, one of your own guys is against you now. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Took care of themselves for me. Oh, we got a shelter. Also, further on here, before I go too far, let me go explore some of these areas. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. Almost knocked over my drink. Remote thought. Nice little piece of thing there. 
So we got the doctor's office. Oh, you can move the curtains. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, another one! <gasps> My favorite! <Mew. laughs> another remote thought. Cool. So yeah, I'm really hoping that once I get the final ability that I can just upgrade the crap out of it. Oh. Oh. This requires level six. And there's like some weird toxic goo coming out from it. Um, yeah, cool. Well, let's check out the shelter. Let's go find the Panopticon. Hello. Oh, three in a row. This game knows what's up. Charge velocity boost weapon mod. Yeah, we'll check that out. Sure, why not? It's probably on the pierce, I would assume. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I'm definitely getting rid of that. Um, hmm. Which one was the charge velocity? Oh, it's right there. Uh, no, that's a different one as well. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least we know some things here. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's get rid of that. Since I don't need that, I only got high level abilities here. Only the highest of levels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then personal mods, I've got a new one as well. Um, so what did I get? Shield boost? Oh, screw that, it's level three! Okay, cool. Back out. Missions. Yeah, I'm still trying to find Dylan. And then, yeah, let me just double check this. Okay, so these were some of the things that I already saw, so that's great, they're in my uh, pieces. I still haven't really watched any of these. Um, since we're in the panop uh, Panopticon, let's go ahead and watch this one. There's a few of these that we still need to kind of explore. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. Oh. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. Oh, yes. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these. And none of them. It's something more profound. Unbelievable. Unknowable. Something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful. I'm so dangerous. excited for this. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. Hmm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study Control. them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited to get in here now. Oh, I'm so glad I watched that. All right, that's where we're going right now. Oh, bye-bye, shelter. Oh, I want to go inside. Security center. Hello? Who goes there? Oh, it's like, what is that noise? Uh, can I crawl through this? <laughs> Please? Oh, I'm so sorry for your little velvet. Come here, give me that. Oh. Well, that, that solves that. Okay, sweet. I'm not sure if that had the potential to hurt me. Didn't seem like it. Oh, this looks incredible. <gasps> oh, hi, creepy guys. Oh, I picked up the other one. Nice. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh no, they're coming for me. Okay, let's let's go ahead and check out these things real quick. Mold autopsy. Oh, we're learning more about the moldies. Summary: the deceased, deceased subject redacted. Summary: the deceased was a redacted year old redacted with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. 
During autopsy, the cadaver's pleural uh, cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold, to an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, but not provably, caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted. However, their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Refer to file 5-94-2716 for full report. Ooh, very interesting. Hiya! Cool. We got some echoes. Also, they are coming for me now, many of them. <laughs> I love how you can just pick them up. Alright. Oh, we're knocking you down. Oh, y'all still coming. I, I still don't know what exactly the normal ones do to you, other than... I know there's the ones that have projectiles. Oh, that shoot stuff at you. But what do they do? I know he just... Oh, okay! Okay, they like shoot spores. When you get too close... Ay, 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 ay. Alright, get out of here. Jeez, how many are there? Okay. Ow. Okay, need more health. Is there any health in here? Yes, there is. Okay, perfect. Alright, cool. We got a save point, it looks like. How many of them are there? Let's take a little decontamination bath real quick. Uh, mm, okay. Oh, I love the shadow works. All the lighting in this game is just incredible. Hello, spooky scaries? Any spooky scaries here? Hello? Okay, anything worthwhile in the center? You're breathing especially heavy down here. Jesse. Okay. Oh, you know I see you. Okay. I'm in security now. And I got my thingy! Bloop. Cool. Remote thoughts. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we are... We're exploring way more of the containment sector right now. Panopticon is still above us, as well as the whole security sector. So I'm assuming we're going to have to get through security first. It would seem so. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where are all, all of the secrets? Ah, a nice little certification of recommendation. Wait, what did it say? Oh, recognition. I'm dumb. Whee! Uh, anything else cool in here? Give me all of the cool backstory. I need the storyline. Give me all the story. All right, we've got more of the pneumatic pipe systems. Oh, please tell me I can turn this on. <gasps> no. Dang it. Oh, look at all these tapes, though. So many tapes! Important. Feels important. An urgent vision. Writing this down so I don't forget. Saw this dream when I fell asleep during Dr. Darling's presentation. A food poisoning? I ate a mushroom salad for lunch. I saw... One, an inverted black pyramid. The board? The astral plane? Then a red pyramid appeared underneath. What's that? It felt scary and bad news. Then, step two. They moved to be on top of each other. Life elevator... Oh, like elevator lights. Going up? Is this the sector elevator? Then they connected slash docked. Something, oh crap. It's an hourglass, a doomsday clock. It started flashing wildly. The sand is leave, uh, leading down. Oh no, felt terrible, F, 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 F. Now it's all down and the red on top. This can't happen. We must stop this from happening. They rule us now. I woke up screaming. This is a redacted. <laughs> That's actually kind of a very interesting uh, board to be looking at. Very interesting note overall. I'm very curious to know what that ends up being. All right, let's keep exploring here. Oh yes, we're gonna go to the uh, another plane here shortly. Hey, buddy, I can't get in there. 
Uh, yes. My favorite things. Globe procedures. Wolf globe. Uh, AI-72-PE, containment procedure. No unique procedures required. However, contact should be limited, as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Description slash altered effect. Item is handmade, set in dark wood, likely walnut. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axes. While the continents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous redacted and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in redacted handlers. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Where is the globe? I must inspect, but not touch. Yo, dude, I'm getting a lot of these right now. Launch efficiency. Oh, that might be a really good one actually to check out. Uh, ooh, that's also level four. Uh, I can always keep them both just in case I want to <laughs> double it up. I still don't know if I can double up stuff like that or not. Also. Okay. <laughs> the game just got super glitchy there for a second. Oh, yes. My favorite. The oldest house. Oh, please. Yes. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. Oh, really? The agents found their way up into the building. Interesting. Once we became aware of it, it was there. <laughs> For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's uh, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its Of course, own, of course. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable. Shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors. It's a noise. Refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research <laughs> what was and that? investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters. On November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. Hmm. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. This is a weird one. Oh, that's really weird. So, from what he was saying, the... Or at least from what I understood, the oldest... Oh, sorry, let me do that. <laughs> the oldest house was resisting observation? From... From what it seemed? Or maybe I read it into that little wrong. Shwee! Okay, so I'm gonna keep on rolling. Hey there. Well, let's, uh, let's see. So the next... Alright, what do we got here? Altered item cell breach. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. The oh. cell's been breached. Oh. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Interesting. Oh, we're, we're back right here. Oh, okay, sweet. Meow, meow. Sweet. Hiya! <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so now we have access to the actual security center. A little bit better now. Let's go and open this up. Also, I want to apologize ahead of time if there's any major... Uh, glitches or anything weird going on in this episode. Again, I'm playing on a different version of this game. Um, this game uses DirectX as like the the whole system itself. And I had to go down from 12 to 11 because 12 is like corrupted for some reason. Uh, it's definitely not part of the game itself. 
Um, but again, I just want to make sure that you guys are aware. Again, sorry for any, uh, any, like right now, it's, it's glitchy right now. My face is going to be <laughs> jumping back and forth, but if I look this way, it's fine. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with this too much, but hopefully it's not too much of a distraction for you all. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and pull. Oh, hi Dylan. Two and three. That was a little creepy. All right, we gotta get to the ocean. Yes. Uh oh. Ding ding. Hello. Oh. Everything's all uh upside down. <laughs> Oh, even the wind? Oh, oh! Literally everything is not where it's supposed to be. Well, let's, let's go and try this again. Ding, ding! Oh, there's light coming from the door. Where's that coming from? There's blood as well. Okay, this one's normal. Hello? This is always very odd trying to figure out the things going on in the motel. Ding ding. Bing bong. Bing bing bong. Ah, yes. Was that all I had to do? Was flip one painting? Wait, hold on. It saved the game when I did that. Okay, now it's facing right side up. Let's go back into room number one, I guess. Bing bong. Ah. Oh. Cool. That's all we needed to do, I guess. All right, well, let's go into the pyramid room. And let's go ahead and one. Two and three. Mission updated. Find Dylan. Oh, now it's no longer a wall, but it is an exposed sector. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. Oh. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things Whoa. as hard for him as they were for me? Yes. Maybe in here. They were even harder. All right, let's move forward. Oh, this is so cool. Dylan. Panopticon entrance. Is that the janitor? Speak with the Panopticon supervisor. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. Okay. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, it's got a cleft okay. palate. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. Like I added, it's added those details in there. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. <laughs> Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered <laughs> items. I don't have time for this. Power and <laughs> I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. <laughs> Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. Nice. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in Of course there, there is. It's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. A TV? Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain nope. it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, man. No, trust me. Okay, so Dylan's I have to solve it. As normal. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. <laughs> uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, 
Just do that. Here, <laughs> I'll get the door for you. Sweet. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Nice. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. <laughs> Subdue the Benikoff TV Fred, object of power. I guess Ooh. life's a breach. <laughs> life's a breach. <laughs> I'm funny. You're okay. You're okay, dude. All right, let's check out the thermos processing. Wait, what happened to the picture? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, dear diner coffee thermos. AI73-UE. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. Description slash altered effect. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo of the Oh Dear Diner. Located in Bright Falls, Washington. The cap doubles as a mug. The item responds to formula... 1.16? Or that's an I. I.16. Yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered. Other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter its quality before being poured into the item. Background. The thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of a recurring AWE. See Bright Falls AWE case file for further information. I, I had a feeling this was it. Um, according to witness statements, Alan Wake, see Prime Candidate Program Entry for further information, who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos had been seen a redacted. Collecting similar thermoses for an a redacted purpose. I was just saying, I was like, oh, Washington, Bright Falls, that sounds like Alan Wake. And I love how they added that in there because this is the same developers who made that game that's super cool someone literally just commented on one of my videos saying hey you should do alan wake after this uh this gameplay i've got a couple other games that i'd like Opticon. dylan's close but that object of power might wreck this place before i find him yeah there, there's a couple other games that i want to get to after this major playthrough um so I'd be happy to do Alan Wake at some point in the future. I do own the game. I have not yet completed it. I've gotten through, I think, a small portion of it. Like, mostly just the introduction. But with the storytelling that these guys do with their games, it's definitely something to consider. Let me go and see if I can construct that other weapon. Yeah, the charge. Holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast radius. Should I do it, though? I kind of feel like I should. Everything else is just an upgrade. Yeah, why not? Sure. Sure. Enter to continue. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. What are my abilities? I've still got all this. Totally fine. And then let's go ahead and pull up the menu. Let's get rid of Pierce. Go ahead and put in charge, and what are my abilities for this? Let's do it by rarity. Projectile speed goes up. Damage against enemy armor. Rate of fire. Ooh. Damage after a kill. Let me try rate of fire. I have no idea what this gun does yet, but let's take a look. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. All right, well, I'm looking forward to this one. Oh yeah, you guys are. Oh my goodness. Ow, get out of here. <laughs> okay, I got it. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know how I just survived that. <laughs> I was very lucky there was stuff underneath there. Oh, okay. Uh, no. No, 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 keep it coming. Okay. No, no! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> well, that's what I get for trying a new weapon right when there's a big old bunch of enemies right in front of me. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> gotta love it. You gotta love it, you guys. Round two. Let's go. Scat up and blue barrel, man, and I'm on blue. Scat up and a bit on blue. Ah, okay. We're good to go. Let's get in there. Let's blast these dudes. Subdue the Benikoff TV object of power on the fourth floor. Okay, well. 
Alright, I guess they're all gone since I died. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, game has saved. Fortified unit 714. Ooh, I take you, please. Hiya! Nice. Okay, now you guys appear. Oh boy! Wait, are those are these new bad guys? Or are these the same ones? Okay, you all dead? Thank goodness. Because nobody wants to hang out with you. <laughs> so cool so we get to see more of these all right we have a mailbox awesome oh and we already did the rubber ducky too it was in a very similar thing to this oh we have a picnic basket i think we read about this one already um let's see unit 15 a normal standing fan fantastic what do we have here unit 16 we have a mallet? Is that like a carnival mallet or is that a real one? P6 cell, AI containment. Redacted. Archives and firebreak. Okay. So it looks like we've got to go to a lower level then. Ah. Yeah, let's go down to firebreak, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, I, I am on section one. So let's go to all the items unit. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make oh. Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how Ooh. much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Oh, this is cool. This is such a huge area, too. Hi. Bye bye. Um, what's up, dude? How's it hanging? All right, you you gonna get blasted here in a second. I hope you know that. Oh, here's another one with nothing there. It's just completely missing. Interesting. Oh, you want me to go over there? I will go over there momentarily. Is anyone there? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I read about this one. <gasps> oh, I read about this one. Okay, let's listen. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can oh, you no. Help me? Damn. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Oh, no. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. <laughs> oh no! French duty, hold G to activate. <laughs> Assist the agent in the Panopticon cell after Dylan has been found on the fourth floor. Oh, that's so sad. He's trapped staring at it forever. Okay, let's claim this control point. Nice! I want to explore all of these things. Oh, I hear voices. Oh, they're shooting. Somebody needs help! Oh, hi. This guy's not want to... Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oops, didn't mean to press that. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Ow! What the? What the heck? Dude, this gun is insane. <laughs> Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, get me out of here, get me out of here. Okay, that goes a little bit too... Not enough distance on that, to be honest. Oh, yeah. 
taking over your brain. <laughs> Sweet. Cool, dude. You're mine now. Also, you're gonna die in a second, so I'm so sorry for that. Oh, that's where Dylan is. Dylan, I'm coming for you! Twisted Passage. Oh. That's the object of power. Oh, I that's the TV. It. Okay. What's gonna happen? Whoa. What? What? Oh, it's sucking me in. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. Is this our first real boss battle? Whoa. Oh, that's so cool looking. Cleanse the Benikoff TV. All right, we still still need to do that. Whoa. Wait a second. It just flipped reality. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Wait, what the? Wait, how do I get anywhere? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and explore around here just a little bit before we go up. I'm not too sure if there's anything else, though. Oh, so I can jump up there. Um... Yeah, so we need to go either towards the TV or whatever is down here. I think this just goes back to the normal area, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that goes back to the normal area. Sweet. All right, to the TV. It's cleansing time. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Oh, this is so cool. The visuals of this game is stunning. I say that every time, but it's so true. Hi, big guy. Okay, that did nothing. I think it won't happen until I drop. Um. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. Something weird's gonna happen here. Okay, now they're looking at me. Oh, you're a big boy. All right, yeah, we're, we're grabbing the big things. Ow! Oh, what? Take care of the little guys first. Come on, come on, come on. No! Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, I'm almost dead. No! <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. <laughs> Even when falling, use evade just before you land to prevent fall damage. I actually knew that. I kind of figured that out on a couple different playthroughs. But thank you for the tip, game. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do this right this time. Maybe I shouldn't use this new weapon. It's not as quick as the shot, like scatter shot, whatever it's called. Um, it's basically a shotgun, but it's not called a shotgun. Oh, I gotta do this again? What the heck? All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, I gotta go all the way back over here. Yoink, 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 yoink. All right, let's get all the way back. Let's try this again. All right, I will not lose this one. I mean, I might, but I'm gonna try my best not to. <laughs> I'm not just gonna flail around like I did the last time.
Okay. Go ahead and do your thing. I'm waiting here for you. Oh, it's like, am I moving? Oh, what the? Oh, that tripped me out. The entire space is moving. Oh, so weird. Okay. Come on. Do your thing. All right. Come on, big boy. Ay, 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 ay. Yo, this guy hurts so much. Okay, okay. I need to get some better cover here. Obviously, I don't have anything good going on right now. Oh my gosh! Okay, get a little bit of health. Oh my gosh, now I got no health, now I got no health! Run, run, run! No! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> I gotta get a better strategy for this. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Got all the soda that I can grab. Energize myself. <laughs> oh. Losing is the best. Losing is the greatest. There's just no place for cover on this particular section. I, I think I need to go past him uh, to get some better cover overall. And oh my gosh, it keeps starting me back over here. <laughs> Just fine. It's okay. Oh, wait. Now I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Actually, what's down here? Oh, my goodness. Did I say you guys could come into life? I think not. Oh, boy. It's the screaming ones, too. Where are you? Oh boy. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm just leaving. <laughs> I don't need to deal with you. I don't need to do nothing. <laughs> Alright. Let's just keep out the, the shotgun. And see what we do with this. is saving once again. Let's get in here. Let's fight these awful people. Okay. We're gonna jump down right here. It's gonna pick up some heavy artillery. And we're gonna just blast this dude. Okay, he's gonna start throwing. Let's pick up some random items here. Try to push him back. Alright, where's another guy gonna drop? Okay, we got another guy right there. Perfect. Okay, one down. Many more to go. Okay, let's throw our things at him. Okay! Yikes! Ow! What? How's my health so low already? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, where's some more people? Oh, you're right there! Okay, okay. Oh boy, oh boy! Oh, come on! Okay. Come on, give me this health. Give me this health. Perfect. Got all the health I need. Got all the health I need. Now let's drop this. Let's get the scary here. Let's throw things. Knock him down. Let's get him. Oh, oh, come on. Give me that mind control. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. There's another guy right there, I believe. Dude, this guy is a beast. Okay, okay, okay. Who's shooting me? Oh, he's behind me. 
Okay, 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 okay. Let's go and use this. Get some health real quick. Alright, where are you, buddy? Oh, I see you. Salvador is his name, by the way. Die. You weirdo! Okay, we're getting very close. We are getting very, very close. Okay, throwing stuff again. Okay, he's so close, he's so close! <laughs> we did it! Oh my gosh! Oh no, we didn't do it. There's still one dude left. Screw you, dude! <laughs> that thing was Salvador, the head of security. Oh. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. Okay, that makes more sense. Does. <laughs> oh man. This is brutal. Hey, there's the TV. What is this though? Okay, the TV. I'm gonna grab these first real quick. Another object. Did that mean do that? Here we go again. Hiya! And let me grab this one. Whatever this is. Anchor supplement. Oh, it's for the anchor. Okay, I'm definitely gonna read that. Sweet. Ocelot's Anchor, AI-11-UE. Background. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical <laughs> phenomenon while fishing in the... Redacted. Witnesses describe it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew... Redacted. By throwing a tin bucket, which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Redacted rescued the four surviving crew. The last one was loud. <laughs> Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates. Redacted. And began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the Redacted to the U.S. port of Redacted. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau via, <laughs> via the Redacted. Interesting. And then there was one more for... I want to say it was for the head of security guy. Yeah, research and files. Let's see. Yeah, Salvador's ID. Oh, there's Salvador. It should never have been accessible to lower clearance staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. Interesting. Wait, does his ID give me more access to some of these areas? All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the TV then, real quick. Oh, use the TV slash babysitter. Levitate slash superhero over the obstacle. Oh, hold on, what? Oh, is this the new ability? Hold space to levitate. Oh, what? <laughs> what? That's so cool. Oh my gosh. This just, this saves so much time spent doing stuff that I've been trying to do in the game earlier. What? <laughs> okay, now I know how to get to the anchor. If that wasn't clear now, it's it's absolutely clear. Or sorry, if that wasn't clear before, that's absolutely clear now. Um, that obviously I was supposed to levitate through ev absolutely everything. Oh, <gasps> and I can shoot and everything while I'm levitating. This is so cool. <laughs> this is the coolest game in the world. <laughs> hey, what's up, big guy? Oh, bye bye. You ain't touching me. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I I hit space too soon. Oh, okay. 
Press to levitate while levitating to fall. Hold it to slow fall, safely controlling the descent. Interesting. Hi. Thank you. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love this game. Yum. Thank you. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And uh, bye bye. Oh, you want the uh, you want the old bye bye? You're gonna get the control control. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, this game is just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> How many times can I do this? Can I just do this forever? <laughs> like, there's no limit. <laughs> oh hi. Oh, okay. That was an exit. Give me that health. You know what? Screw you, dude. You're gonna get the big ol' ball. <laughs> This game is so fun! <laughs> Making my way downtown, flying fast. New slash, slash APB. The board hiss, slash, like, our broadcast must survive. Okay. Whoa, what? Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Can I go that way? Will I die if I go that way? I kind of want to try it, but I don't want to die. Hmm. 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 I have a strange feeling I'm gonna die if I try going this way, but I'm gonna try it. Can I peacefully land? Oh, I can. Okay. I'm not dying. One ability point received. Oh. Did I just find a special ability? Or did I find a special ability point? Seriously, you guys have no idea how excited I am. Games like this are just so fun. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm just flying everywhere. I'm just levitating. <laughs> All right, let's go. Y'all gonna get blasted. Oh yeah, you think y'all can survive? Nope. Maybe you can. Got him. <laughs> yeah, you can do it, and I can do it too. So screw you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost died on that. All right, give me all the health I can get. Cause I definitely need this. Also, I need to go to the control point and try to upgrade this as much as I possibly can. Because this is the most incredible one so far. <laughs> all right, cool. Search for Dylan in the maximum security prison. Hi. Oh, hey. There's a little thing right here. Yoink. Are you still alive? Yeah, you are. Not for long. Oh, there's snipers. Do you think I can shoot all the way up there? Oh, yes, I can. I don't know if it really did much, but... Let's see if that'll get him. Oops. Oh, nice. Cool. See, there's some upper levels now to go to. Oh, yeah, because I can fly now. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Okay, I, I still need to go to the control point over here. And don't worry, I can fly. All right, can I upgrade you? Please let me upgrade you. Yes. Okay, abilities. Perfect. 10% <gasps> to levitation duration. You know it. Yes. Oh, press C while levitating to slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. <gasps> oh, yes, levitate level two. And then I'm gonna unlock this one. So now I can slam people. So this just increases the slam damage. I'm gonna see how this does so far with ground slam. 
and then we can go from there to see if uh, anything else is needed. Also, if I use all six more, I get an additional personal mod slot. So that's really cool too. Um, but I only have six available. So I'm gonna see how this does. I got a new construct too. Grip, pierce, upgrade the charge. Okay. I can still upgrade the shatter. That's that's still my favorite one. Uh, I need more remote thoughts for that one though. I think I unfortunately used too much of my uh, materials <laughs> when I was building those out. Okay, cool. Well, let's let's climb. Oh wait, also I gotta I gotta test this new ability. Quaboosh! Oh, <laughs> ow! Okay. S screw this game. <laughs> Alright. Whee! Oh, it's so fun! This is so cool! Oh, and it even gives me a little circle for where I am actually, like, slamming down. Oh, it's the swan boat! <gasps> oh, I love seeing all of these. I love seeing all of these things that I've been reading about this entire game. Okay. Can I go over there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be over here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, crap. 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 Yeah, okay. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> I keep accidentally hitting explosive things. I'm a dummy for that. Okay, now let's just go back the normal direction. Obviously, I keep messing this up. All right, let's check out all the rest of these. All right, we've got the swan boat. Okay. What's over here? Uh, it's a party balloon. Get well soon. And we have a little shoo Personal health mod boost. I read that completely incorrectly, but it still made sense. <laughs> We have got the water cooler. Sweet. Always good to look forward to. Hello? What was that noise? We have uh, Morgan Freeman's crowbar. What's that noise? Villain. Oh. So close. Wait, where's Dylan? The P6 cell. Oh, it's like this entire area. I guess I have to wait for this to close. Yeah. All right, who's there? My brother, Dylan. Very interesting. Dude, this place is destroyed. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Jesse. Yes, that's me. My name's Jesse. Who are you? Oh, I want all these goodies. Give me the goods. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Are you there? Oh, there Jesse. we go. Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Ooh. Jesse, listen. <gasps> There's my name. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He Wait. says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. Wait, what? I'm on my way. Oh, not my big bro. Or is it my little bro? New mission: face of the I enemy. Have to see my brother. Mission completed. My brother's keeper. Oh, I still don't have level six access. That's really unfortunate. Let's see what does this say? Let's read it. 
Dylan Faden Observation. Bureau of Control. Dylan Faden Daily Observations. Confidential. 9.30 a.m. Breakfast is brought. 11.54 a.m. Gets out of bed. Uses toilet. Returns to bed. 11.57 a.m. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff do so. 12 p.m. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. 12.02 p.m. Eats lunch. 2.38 p.m. Uses toilet. 4.03 p.m. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. 4.07 p.m. Becomes upset. Throws lunch tray at glass. 4.09 p.m. Sedated. Crew clean the cell. Television is turned off. 6.12 p.m. Comes to. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. Asterisk. 6.16 p.m. Sleeps? With question mark. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. Okay. Y'all are keeping my brother very host- uh, very hostage. I was gonna say hostile, but I mean both of those work, technically. He's hostile and hostage. Dude, is this like a- <laughs> this looks like a stadium, like, show that's about to begin. With the lighting and everything. Interesting. You know, let's just, uh, let's just float on down. Let's check this out. Jesse. Written in what I would assume is blood. <laughs> but that's weird, he's infected by the hiss. The hiss. Okay, what is this? Got a lot of computers. Man, now that I have this ability, some of the sections that I was like cheating became, are so much easier now. <laughs> With this in mind. Like, in the Black Rock processing, I basically went super out of bounds to where I doubt I was even supposed to be at. Um, just because I was like, oh yeah, I'm totally supposed to be up here. Nope. <laughs> I definitely wasn't supposed to be up in those areas that soon. And that's why there kind of was no uh, overall option for me to move forward for some of those sectors. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a tape. No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. Oh, what about her? talking about I me? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When oh. I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, she was I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me, take me home. Interesting. We're everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come, too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to. But I never did, until now. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. Hmm. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? <laughs> we like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close to anyone living outside of Old Man? I'm done with this. Tell hmm. Casper I want pizza for lunch today. <laughs> Dylan, wait, we're not. End of session. He just wanted pizza for lunch today. And to protect me. He still loves me. My brother. Oh yeah, you, you know I didn't didn't miss that. Yoink! What did I get? Or did it fall down? Oh, damage boost. What is that? Level four weapons mod? Oh my what? mods are full already? What the heck? Um, let's go by type. Oh yeah, I've got too many of these. Spin, delete, and delete. Um, let's see what else we got here. And delete. I've got too many of these. Oh, just two of those, actually. And delete. Got two of those. And delete. I've got... Yeah, two of those. That one's awful. I've got two of these. Both of them four. That's not bad. I'll hold on to those. And then... Yeah, that should be it. And then I just got damage boost. Weapon mod. Also, I've got a new personal mod too. A few of them. I'll, I'll ignore those. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's keep on moving. Whee! Oh, this game is so much more interesting now. I mean, it's always been incredibly interesting, but like this just adds a whole new dynamic to this game. 
Also, please, I need the level six. Come on, let's get me out of here. <laughs> Slowly but steadily. All right. The Panopticon. Hmm. There's a whole fire break area that I don't think I've actually fully discovered. This oh, gosh, that scared me. And there's this whole area over here, too. Also, I still need to help that one poor guy who literally can't do anything right now because he's stuck <laughs> staring at... Um, that one particular thingy. Fortified unit 815. Can I come in? Hmm. Interesting. There's that whole upper, upper level over here, too. No, nope, didn't mean to drop that that harshly. Can I actually make it up? No, not quite. It's close though. I think though, should be able to do some tricks here. Yes, I can. Oh, so close. Oh no. No, come on. <laughs> I don't want to fight you all. I just want to live in peace. You know what? Oh, we got the big orb. Oh, these guys are toast. Actually, getting me pretty good. Flying guys here. Sorry, I'm, I'm just concentrating so hard on these, on this right now. Oh, that was a perfect opportunity to use my whole dash attack. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try one thing real quickly. I need to try to get to the top. I really want to do this. I think I can get it from right here. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does not let me go any higher. Which is kind of interesting. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's go to the, to the guy down here. Wherever he is. And let's try to help him. Not over here, though. Definitely not over here. <laughs> that was such a cool ability. Whee! Alright, how can I help you, my poor friend? Where are you? Where are you? There he is. How can I help you? Keep them on. Okay, let's see. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The oh. door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. <laughs> I'll go ask him how to get you out. Perfect. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. Oh. They can't. Hey, calm down. He can't handle it much longer. Just focus. What's your name? Focus, right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. <laughs> just hang on, Philip. 
We got you, Philip. So, what do I need to do with him? Speak with Langston, Containment Panopticon. Yeah, where was he? Oh, I think he was all the way back in security. So let me just go do this super quick. Help this guy out. Why not? You know what? Let's go over here. Yeah, I think it's just down right here, right? Cool. Oh, this is a whole different area, too. I think. Yeah, there's different floors here. Oh, yeah, I was already here. I understand this now. <laughs> okay, here's another control point. And, yeah, they should be in the security office, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there he is. Containment failure in Panopticon cell. All There's right. someone named Philip up in a cell. <laughs> Let's help him out. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot about fridge. <laughs> He's been in there for over a day. I totally forgot. <laughs> you forgot about him? Oh no. There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's. Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door. <laughs> yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. Sweet. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact Great. is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. <laughs> Not the fridge! I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. <laughs> he doesn't know us very well. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's go and just back I'll out of this later, conversation. Langston. I'll be here, like always. So wait, what? How am I supposed to? <laughs> how am I supposed to help him? Uh, let's see. Where was that? Yeah, return to Philip, fourth floor. Um. Yeah, I guess they're just, just going up to the fridge. Okay, so we're at a control point. We've gone for quite some time already. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Um, we freed... No, not freed, actually. We discovered what is going on with our brother, um, where he is. So we'll be able to go see him on the next one. We got the most amazing new ability. Seriously, absolutely incredible. So fun. I'm going to love kind of messing around with that a ton in some future episodes. Uh, again, for those of you who are wondering, again, I had to lower the settings a bunch because the game decided to not want to work properly after updating uh, <laughs> after updating the graphics card. So no idea what's going on with that. But hopefully it will all be resolved for the next episode. But thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you're not yet subscribed, recommend doing so. Hit the bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading videos and if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button and as always leave a comment down below that way uh, tell me something that you enjoyed about this episode or if you just want to chat hang out i try and do my best to respond to all of your comments uh, but as always you all are awesome you all are amazing and i cannot wait to see you all in the next video later